Hi, right, so this is about comparing the depth of field within the camera viewport, the interactive camera viewport in 3D Studio Max, and also Blender. So 3D Studio Max, which I've used for many years, commercial program, have to pay for it, right? <clears throat> so I've got the camera here, I've got mental ray set up, I've got the target distance. So basically this is depth of field that we can now preview in mental race. It's very useful previewing it in the viewport. We used to be able to preview in the like that, but now we can actually preview the mental ray depth of field. So let's enable it, press preview, Let's give it a bit of time. And as you can see it's got blurry here, here, and this area is more in focus where the target distance is here. The F stops quite low because it makes the non-focused objects more blurry. Okay, So that's basically the 3D Studio Max method. So, you know, viewing it in a viewport, very useful when you come to render. Okay, so that's that. And we go to Blender now. And I was doing this, you know, this playlist on YouTube about comparing the features, trying to see if Blender is capable of doing some 3D, the things you can do in 3D Studio Max. So here I found out, so you've got the camera, you've got what's called an empty, we've got the cycles render set up, and we've got the viewport 2 rendered. And what we do, we have our camera and the camera second settings, we have depth of field here. We have to enable that in the scripts, but that's there. And what you do is you choose which object you want it to focus on. So here, so unlike the 3D Studio Max one where we have this target distance um, in Blender, I think it's a bit better because you actually focus on an actual object. Um, so we've got that. So go back to the, select the camera. So you've got empty radius increasing this, um, you know, gives it more defocus, decreasing it gives it less. So and as you can see in the render preview, it again show like in 3D Studio Max, it shows the blurred areas and the focused areas. So when you come to render, it will give you the same look in your renders. So that's um, that's very impressive, really, for a Blender pre-program. You know, similar similar thing to 3D Studio Max. So if you're using Blender and you want to know about 3D Studio Max, you can use the screencast, vice versa. Okay, great. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Any question, comments, please put it in YouTube. And don't forget to check out my website and the rest of my YouTube channel for tutorials and some of my own art. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, speak later. Bye.